What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. So we're out here today in the ocean again, Bodega Bay. I got my friend Chris with me today. What's up guys? So you're getting Chris and Chris. And the idea of today's video is to see what works better, a conical hoop net or the conventional traps. So we're gonna put these to the test today. We have four of each, as you can see here on the boat. And we have the same bait and I'm gonna be putting in each of them. So I have eight bags that have contained a albacore tuna head and herring that I just caught. So I can't imagine any better bait than that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the conical hoop net and the trap right next to each other in four different locations. Chris is a finance guy, so we're gonna have him tally up the numbers. And at the end, he's gonna tell you which one produces more crab in the day. So we're gonna drop all eight, probably wait about an hour and then go pick them up. So we'll go ahead and drop the first ones down. You guys guess at home right now, which one do you think is gonna work better? I have my idea and uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. All right. All right, so the first ones are going in here, 149 feet of water. And it's exciting that finally the traps open back up. And another thing too to mention is commercials open again now. Um, so it just means, you know, competition for these crab is a lot harder. Uh, they have to have six and a quarter inches a recreational fisherman can do five and three quarters. Um, so I'm expecting crab today, but probably not as many big ones as we've been getting out here. But we'll see. Oh, there's no current right now. All right, so the first hoop net's down. Uh, we'll go ahead and just drive maybe 20 feet away from it and then drop the trap. All right, trap's going down. And there's the hoop net. So if you're using uh, one of these traps, you have to have a, a crab trap validation um, on your fishing license. It's like $2.70. I wish they would just charge a little bit more or nothing because it just seems like a waste. I spent more in gas going down to get it. You also need to have a red buoy on the end of your main buoy, which I'll show you here when we get to the end of the rope. And then a little red one behind it. Those are the regulations. All right, we have it marked. We'll go drop uh, three more sets like this one. Well, we'll, we'll see you on the last set we drop. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, so we dropped down uh, three sets of two right now. So we're on our last drop right now, 75 feet of water. There's the hoop net. Go ahead and drop, drop our last pot down. So while this one's dropping down right here, you guys know my friend at uh, Real Custom Boat Works, Jim, he does all the work on my boat. Well, he sent me a text I wanna share with you guys, might be useful for some of you. Uh, on Saturday, February 11th from eight to noon, there'll be a free US Coast Guard boat vessel inspection at the Real Custom Boat Works shop. Uh, he's in Stockton, I'll have the address below and written right up here for you guys to get it if you wanna go. So what it is, is he'll have two inspection stations, free donuts, coffee, pancakes, and uh, for while you wait and then if you're interested he has some different products there that you can get 10% off of if you mention my name um, and the inspections include all vessels fishing vessels kayaks and canoes and you'd receive your 2023 inspection sticker at the time of completion uh, so what that would do is save you time if you ever got stopped by the Coast Guard on the water uh, they do random checks sometimes and you can just show them uh, you've already got your certifica certification for the year uh, that your you know your boat meets all the safety standards that they want um, so yeah, good, good opportunity to go out, talk to the Coast Guard if you have any questions uh, and get your boat, you know, um, inspected and make sure you're safe out there. All right, well, they're all down. Um, nothing really to do with rock fishing clothes. You could go for sand dabs. Not really interested in that right now. Um, so yeah, we're just going to hang out, listen to some music, chat, probably wait 30 to 45 minutes, um, get a better soak on these and then we'll start pulling them up. That's hoop net. There's the pot. I guess we'll do hoop net first since that was dropped first. All right, so what are your guys' guesses at home? Hoop nets or traps? What's gonna work better? We have an hour and a half soak on these. I'm going with the hoop net.
So what I'm using here to pull up these crab pots is the Scotty Crab Puller. I'll have links in the description if you guys are interested. If you'll notice, I started a Amazon Affiliates account. So if you want to help the channel out and you're interested in any of the equipment I'm using, I'll probably have a link in down there. Uh, if you use that to make the purchase, uh, you're helping me out. So I appreciate that and thank you. Uh, same as like the uh, hoop net we were using from Promar. There's links for that as well. Seems like it's heavy. I think we're gonna have some crab. And there's just the most competition I've seen all year with commercial open. And there are so many pots out here. Uh, we have crab in here. I'm gonna give it credit to our good hoop net and our bait. So this guy's real close. Hopefully we got some a little bit bigger, but that's about as close as they get. Eighth of an inch short. This one's good. I can't believe that. Look at this. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I agree. I like to just make it sure it's level. Yeah, looks like it's just really good. Same as this one. Okay, here we go. Over six inches. Good. Wow, so many crap. Seven keepers. That's a good start. That's great. Three of them are six inches or bigger, so that's good. Looking for six inch plus out here right now. But we'll take those five and three quarters for now. First trap in a year's time. Let's see how it works. Sure, coming up slow, isn't it? Yeah. I see it. All right, well, we had seven keepers in that conical in this spot. Could be maybe that many in this one. This guy's big. So five keepers in the pot, but there were uh, two nice big ones in there. So the first two were 150 feet. What's this one? Same. Same, 150 again. strange we had nothing in that pot um, I mean you know it's possible someone picked it up and uh, cleaned it out before we got to it oh, no, it's loaded huh loaded yeah see the other one got pulled how could there be nothing in there yeah what do you guys think 20 yards away, oh, a bunch of the pot had no crab in it. A bunch of females. 
All right, halfway through, Conical's got 11 keepers and the pots have five. That last one with an asterisk because it was right next to <laughs> this one and it had nothing in it. Yeah. So, so somebody pulled it. It's gotta be, right? I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. How do you get a bunch in one and none in the other? But then the question is why they only pull one of your pots? The commercial guys will, you know, just drop every, every 50 yards. Yeah, probably. And just cover a huge, yeah. you know, area. And they're usually like the same depth parallel with the shore. So what we're left trying to do is find the spot in between their rows, if that makes sense. So you can just picture the shoreline, then a row of buoys, and then a little deeper on the row of buoys, and we're trying to just go in between those. There must be a lot of crab here still. This has been the same spot I've been going the entire season. And you know, seeing all the commercial boats here makes me think that the crab are still here, you know, even after not being out here for a month. So in this pot, we got four keepers. This was 120 feet. But like trade they, lands. Like they paid Debo, they paid Trent Williams. Well, they need to sign Bosa, which they can now. Yeah. And uh, and can they, are they shedding Garoppolo's salary just because it was a win? Yeah, 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 yeah. So in uh, that one, tons of crab, but only one keeper. So we've pulled up six so far. We got two left. All right, so these ones are the most shallow. 75 feet of water. So we got a lot of them, five and three quarters to six inches. We need to upgrade those on these last two pools. So decent, I guess. You have a knife? I can. So look at this crab. Got wrapped in some yarn. I think it's from one of these. Like a bait bag down there. Well, luckily she found us and she can get all this off of her. It's just, it has like, see like the knots and the rings. But I agree, the material is different. But I bet you they make the bags in all different materials. It's wrapped right in this part or something. There we go. There we go. All right, little lady. Don't give birth. She's all right. Good. Save that one. Um. So we got two in this one. These ones look pretty nice, both of them. They do. All right, so we're pulling up the last one of the day. Definitely successful. Uh, what, what are the numbers, Chris? 14 on the conical. Okay. Nine on the pots. Oh, wow. 
and then this is a pot. But one of the pots was empty. We'll see how this one does. Loaded. Oh, wow. Loaded. Big ones, too, I think. Wow. That's a big yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Two, I see two really good ones. This one for sure. And this one. It actually might only be the only two good <laughs> ones. Yeah, two there. Oh my God, this is way over seven. Yeah, that thing's over way six. Over nice. <clears throat> It's almost feels safe to say the bigger ones came in the pot. All right, so four. So it's pretty much a tie. All right, so the final count, 14 in the conical hoop nets, 13 in the traps. Seems like the traps have maybe a few bigger ones and we had the one that was empty. You guys comment below, you think just no crab went in that one or you think someone probably pulled it up before we got to it. Uh, so my takeaway would be is both work seem to be about equal. Um, so if you're going for a quicker trip, just drop the hoop nets. They're easier, lighter weight. You'll get good numbers. And if you're trying to let them soak, um, then you can use the traps. So that's how I determine what I would want to use out here. A longer trip, the traps, shorter one, the conical hoop nets. Well, it was a fun day out here with Chris. Happy we got our keepers, some good ones. And if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, later guys.